If you want to work around with architectural elements inside of Blender, then you can use the Archimedes plugin. So to do that, I'm going to go around into edit and then I'm going to go to preferences right here. So over here in preferences on the add-on section, you can scroll down and you can see that add mess Archimedes is an option. Once you click on this, what happens is that the Archimedes plugin is um, enabled and to insert out objects, you can press shift A on your keyboard, then you can go to mess, you can go to Archimedes and choose whatever you want. Let's say, for example, you choose a door, then you can see that there's a door right here. But for even more option, I'm just going to delete this out. You can go around over here onto this little triangular icon right here and you can go to create. Here you can see Archimedes and you see the exact options as you can see. So you can go around, click on room and this is what you have right here. So over here you can see you can increase out the number of walls right here. So you can see that you can go around, increase out the walls right here. There's four walls. And now what you can do is you can change around the distance right here as you can see right here. You can also work around with the advanced options right here, work around with the angle and the curve as you can see right here if you want to. And it's all about clicking and dragging right here, as you can see right here. So you can see that you can generate out a room just like this. You can go around right here and then bring in other stuffs over here as well. So there's Archimedes right here. You can go around into cabinets and there you go. There's the cabinet right here. And there's different options for cabinets right here. As you can see, you can work around with the depth of the cabinet. You can work around with the height of the cabinet. You can go around right here and change out different options as you can see and it generates out different cabinets as you can see right here so i'm just going to go around delete this thing right here there you go you can also work around with japanese curtains right here so you got certain curtains like this you can work around with the height the width of the curtain right here even the rails right here and then change around the position of the rails over here as well so all you got to do is experiment around right here you can increase um, the amount of panels over here as well you can work around with the rails, the height, and so forth, as you can see right here. And this is how it looks. So over here, there's different things like uh, uh, there's blinds right here. You can go around onto its options. You can choose the color of the blinds over here as well, and so forth, and then work around with this. So what you can do is you can work around with different elements right here. So I'm just going to go around, delete this. And here you can see different things like roofs over here as well. You can increase the number of piles right here. So you can see that you can easily generate out the architectural uh, properties right here. So there's a lot of things right here. You can bring around crops like this books over here as well. So you can increase up the width of the books right here, uh, just like this and so forth and get um, the effect you want. You can go around right here. You can go around with the height of the book over here as well. So let me just go around and you can increase the number of books right here and you can change around. Let's say you want to pile it up right here so you can work around with options right here. So all you got to do is experiment around with the options that you have over here. And that is how you can work around with Archimedes plugin to generate out different architectural uh, elements inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.